I wanted to tell you guys two other features that you can use for uh, editing lines. Uh, so, so I was making this operation. That was the whole point of the lines to come in here with a slit saw and do this work. Now, in the process of uh, becoming confused trying to draw the lines uh, with the data I was getting from my my uh, CAD system, I. Uh, had a moment where I thought Mastercam had crashed because it was like stuck in a dialogue needing some kind of very special input to like get it to, to allow me to back, return to work and it was dinging at me so I dropped my CAD system lost my information and used point uh, information from memory uh, and one point that I'd written down to, to actually draw these lines to begin with and uh, so they weren't long enough so anyway I had to use the uh, trim break extend tool. So I use extend and I put an extension link of positive 100 thou. Click, 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 making them longer to adjust for size. Then I watched back plot and I uh, made these a little bit shorter by 30 thou a piece with this negative 30 thou extension length. So that's something you can do. You just click on the corresponding side you want to lengthen or delete material from. Then you can also use this other tool by clicking press F4. You bring up line properties, which is this weird, uh, you know, nauseating like little method of adjustment in Mastercam. You got this green dot and this red dot, and you have your nomen of your selected uh, coordinate system. In this case, top. And uh, so you you sit there and you say, I want to move this point instead of dimensions like on a blueprint, like humans read. We 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 go. Well, I want to move the green point. So the green point's here. And I want to move it to the left. Well, on the left is Y in the currently called coordinate system. So I need to move Y more positive. And all that garbage is just uh, human calculated functions. That you're, you're turning your brain into like a computer. It's really uh, not not what you want to be doing because it's, it's fatiguing the operator trying to do this work. And uh, it's not very efficient. Uh, but at any rate, that's the tools you have. So that's the way you do it. You click the line, push function 4, F4 on the keyboard. Uh, it brings up this dialogue. Then you think, what do I want to do? Okay, how do I do it? Uh, I want to move the green point. I want to move it in to in this direction. Well, that's X. I got to move it positive X in the currently called world coordinate system. So I go to green. I go to X. I move this point positive in whatever amount I want. And as you can see, that's really just lossy and, and odd. Other thing I had to do was I'd copied and pasted this operation. I had to reconnect geometry, so I clicked on geometry, rechained re all, clicked on my lines in the direction I wanted to chain them. Uh, you know, in this case, I want to I want to bring the cut in a uh, conventional milling direction, or or I guess. Uh, I guess I'd be climb. I climb climb milling this. I flip my blade of my arbor over, so I can spit these uh, drop ends out away from my trunnion instead of jamming them into my trunnion, possibly, and uh, blowing up my saw. And then I've got planes uh, combo to change. So in this case, the way to do that in a five-axis machine, I go to top. I look at top. I say, where am I? That's left. So I call the top. Uh, and left left and manually output zero GD4 uh, green check out and I have an op that will force the rotation of my table properly and uh, you know so it'll, so it'll take my table in this case my my trunnion will go like this my table will rotate like that my saw will come down as called bang 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 and I'll cut these drop ends off and spit them that way. But anyway, uh, that those are the other ways you can. Once you've created the line, you know I showed you transforming the line, and I showed you uh, uh, modifying the line with trim break extend, and also F4 line properties. I hope that helps.